Okay. Hi, guys. Uh, I do hope you are hearing me. Uh, if you have any problem with my audio, please uh, send a message in the, in the in the chat. Otherwise, I will go straight to this uh, to this uh, webinar. Hope uh, everything is uh, okay for you. Um, in the next, uh, let me say, 40, 45 minutes, we will uh, have uh, an exploration about the uh, Big Dive 8 uh, program. So the, the main idea of this webinar is to um, is to show the 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 week by week program and uh, some insights, some spoilers about the, the final project challenge. Uh, today here with me we have uh, Stefania Del Pete. Hello everyone. You will uh, you will uh, meet uh, her in the in the during the, the course of course and during the first week as a teacher about the the Python session. So uh, if you do not have any problem with the we audio, I can go straight with this uh, this presentation. Let me close the the webcam just for a minute and let's go uh, to the presentation. Okay, uh, as you can hear. As you can see here from the from the slides, uh, um, well, many many of the attendees of this webinar are people already enrolled in the course, so welcome on board in this uh, new exciting class. Uh, for people not still committed, Big Dive is a training program, a kind of boot camp, very very intensive, and the goal is to boost the technical skills you need to dive. Uh, into the big data universe. This uh, this course uh, is um, is designed. And, uh, I mean, the, the main idea and the concept uh, was designed by by Topics Consortium, that is the company I work for, me and Stefania, by the way. Um, Topic is a no, is a non-profit consortium with two specific goals. So the first one is to manage a um, neutral access point. I mean, a, a internet exchange. Uh, where telcos and network operators may, may exchange traffic among themselves. But we have a second soul, a second business unit, and we call this uh, the second business unit the development program. The development program is a program, of course, to support uh, innovation projects. Uh, and in this, uh, in this second field, uh, we um, work on different topics like for example startups uh, some european funded projects uh, many educational projects uh, some corporate innovation projects and of course a lot of data and this is by the way the, the reason we are here today talking about big dive uh, we are a big consortium in terms of members uh, but uh, the, the companies itself is uh, is uh, is quite small only 30 people and doing several things uh, in in our in our um working life well, uh, Big Dive is a is a is again is again a, a training program, and uh, it is organized in partnership with uh, uh, some great uh, uh, corporates uh, and uh, let me see partners uh, first of all. Uh, the first of uh, these partners is ISI Foundation, that probably many of you already know because they are the are leading uh, research institute in the field of uh, computational epidemiology and uh, generally speaking in data science. Uh, the second great partner is uh, Todo, that is an interaction design studio. And uh, they are in charge of the uh, data visualization part inside, uh, inside Big Dive. And last but not least, we have Accent, that is a small uh, web development agency. They are our uh, ninjas in, in Python and in uh, uh, MongoDB, in general speaking, uh, NoSQL databases. So you will meet them during the, during the course because these guys are also the uh, resident teachers uh, in, the, in the Big Dive. Uh, well, this is our recipe for, for, for success. We are at the eighth edition, so we learned a lot from our, our story. And these are the, the core assets of Big Dive. First of all, the fact that we are interdisciplinary. So you will see many things, many stuff during these uh, four weeks. Uh, um, first of all, the science, of course, but also data visualization, data engineering. Uh, and uh, let me say some uh, some pills uh, about uh, uh, data ethics uh, and and many other many other stuff. Uh, 
The second, the second asset is the fact that we are international. Uh, the course uh, will be provided in English. Uh, also, in this eighth edition, we will have uh, some people from abroad, so we will talk in English during the course. Uh, Big Dive is also borderless. What I mean? It, it means it it means that uh, um, we want to have a very uh, heterogeneous background inside the class. Uh, and so we accept people from, uh, from different backgrounds with different stories because we are really um, trusting this uh, diversity among students because definitely we think that th this is a great value for, for, the, uh, for the class and for the group work. Uh, also, Big Dive is a very, very hands-on course. Uh, in fact, you will see some theory, but most of your days will be spent doing uh, practice, particularly coding. And finally, last but not least, even in this case, uh, one of our core assets is uh, the fact that we have teachers, but first of all, we have people that are experts in their fields. Um, so having this uh, on-field expertise is a great value for, for us as organizers, but also, also a great value for you as, as a student. Uh, in this slide, you can see a bit of history about Big Dive. Many, many of you probably uh, already seen in the past, or um, if you browse it or over the internet, you have seen some editions, some past editions. But again, we are at the eighth edition. Uh, we started in 2012 with uh, more or less the same formula. We had uh, courses uh, four week long and five week longs. Uh, this 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 year we are we will have a four week courses. Uh, and as you can see, we have a, a, a very a very nice class class with people from uh, from different countries uh, and uh, different uh, and different backgrounds. So one of our key values is the fact that we were able to create these great communities or great, great community of data scientists uh, around the world. So um, there is a great link be between us and the past and the previous edition students. Um, what else? Uh, well, yes, um, probably, uh, probably you also know that um, from this uh, regular big dive, that is the, the course that you will uh, will attend in a couple of weeks, uh, um, a new formula, a kind of custom formula, uh, rises in order to meet the needs for 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 companies, basically. Uh, in fact, many many companies during the year said said to us that okay, your your course is nice, uh, this is a great opportunity, but it's difficult. For, for for us in terms of company to send people in, in, in your class. So we, we created this custom version and we add some great customers, uh, uh, as you can see in this uh, in this slide, that trusted to the trust has as uh, uh, as teachers and as course organizers. But basically, you are here for the hate edition, and this uh, hate edition has a strong uh, let me say uh, tem, and the tem is. Uh, from space to half, because basically in the in the final project in the final week you will have the chance to work with uh, with some great data set provided by our sponsors in the in the field of space and particularly health observation. But later Stefania will uh, will give more insights about this uh, these topics. Um, Big Dive 8 is again is organized by Topics. Uh, we we still have the great uh, partners that I, I've already mentioned, uh, and we have some great uh, sponsor. The first one is Altec. The second one is ESA that you probably know. The third one is uh, Innoim that is another research institute. We will present later when we will talk about the the final challenges. Uh, we have also also some great technical partner and the patronage by University of Turin. This is our stakeholders panel for this, uh, for this upcoming edition. And this is a quick overview of the program. Um, as you can see, we, we will have four week. In the first week, basically, we'll have the, the kickoff of the course, uh, some Python refresh, uh, and also some Python advanced class uh, uh, in order to create tools uh, to give you the instruments to, to work with data. Um, in the second week, we'll, the main theme will be basically data engineering and uh, data processing. And then in the third week, the main theme will be instead data science and network science. So it will be a really nice and complete program. As you can see here in the slide, the 
fourth week will be totally committed for the final project. Okay. Um, you will see also the uh, the, the, the time reference for for the course, uh, but for sure we'll send you the the, the, the tailored program with the, the timetable in order to to manage your uh, your, your time properly during the the four weeks of the course. Uh, let's have a look at the at the at the first week of Big Dive. Uh, of course, we will have the uh, the kickoff of the course uh, in order to to meet you guys. Uh, we, are, we we are very excited to, to to meet you in a couple of weeks. Uh, we will also have some great lectures. Uh, but uh, I mean, the, the main theme of the week, as I already said, is uh, data visualization, and you will have. Uh, two intensive uh, uh, days um, with uh, Todo, particularly Fabio Franchino, he's one of the resident teachers in Big Dive. He will teach you D3GS, that is a nice library to create amazing data visualization. Then, as uh, I, I am already mentioned, Stefania will give you some, uh, some introduction for beginners in Python, but also some advanced tools in order to work properly with the, with data, um, you have already seen that uh, uh, most of the of the course in in, in Big Data is uh, is based on on Python. Basically, all the course apart from the data visualization part in D3JS, and um, you will use Python a lot during this fourth week. So stay tuned, be prepared. If you are a newbie with Python, use these two uh, final week before the the, the course start in order to refresh your knowledge uh, and take the time to to attend some uh, data camp uh, or Coursera course or whatever in order to practice a lot with Python because definitely uh, we will have a short time to 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 um, teach Python but we'll use it a lot. Stefania, would you would you add something about this uh, this, um, yeah, this part? Yeah, I would like also to add that uh, thanks to the collaboration with the Python Foundation and the New Focus Foundation, we will have also some uh, um, uh, some goodies, <laughs> uh, but also there are also great reports. To, uh, so, for example, the PyData channel will be helpful for them, and uh, we will have some um, some days uh, uh, during the first weeks, uh, uh, the first week. Uh, to go through the, the basics, and then we go through the data science libraries uh, that will be uh, mandatory for the rest of the course. So uh, as uh, Christian mentioned, uh, um, it's time to prepare yourself with Python, and then we go through directly using Jupyter Notebook. So I suggest you to go through Jupyter Notebook as well to manage very well uh, the different techniques and the shortcuts, and um, that's it. Yes. Well, for for people that already enrolled in in the course, we share it on the Slack channel some uh, some hints, some suggestions or to practice a bit with Python. So uh, be sure to 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 check these uh, resources, this link, uh, in and order to and yes, and installation. So the the the, the, the requirements uh, in order to to be ready to work on Python from the very first day. Because again, one of the the key message here is. Uh, uh, Big Dive is a very practical course, uh, and and so we want uh, we want to use Python from the very very beginning. Let's come back to the to the program. Um, also, in the in the first week, um, we will have a great lecture by the, uh, a friend of Big Dive. His name is Maurizio Napolitano. He's from Fondazione Bruno Kessler. It's a nice uh, research foundation is a nice research foundation and he will uh, uh, explain a lot about the geospatial technologies basically all you want to know about uh, maps uh, uh, interaction with maps and data open street map basically uh, in particularly the usage of uh, uh, open street map data as uh, a kind of community data that are very very useful for your for your final project and for uh, generally speaking for your data science project uh, it'd be a nice uh, a nice lecture for for sure um, of geopandas. yes we also have it's some here, hints right? of geopandas this in this edition too uh, just coming back to this this slide uh, you will see this uh, 
two great lectures the very first day of Big Dai in order to break in the ice, in order to uh, go deep inside the space uh, term for the, this year. So we will have a contribution by ESA, uh, that for sure you know, and we also have a contribution by a local company here, the name is Vastala. Uh, he will talk by, about the um, the usage of some cloud infrastructure and uh, uh, artificial intelligence in this in this uh, in this space or topic. Well, let's go to the to the second week. Um, again, here as a quick overview of the program, uh, you will see some uh, some uh, contents about that engineering that is, by the way, the main theme of this week. And in fact, we will start the second week in Big Dai with a um, workshop basically about uh, data frameworks. Uh, this workshop will be hosted and managed by Agile Lab, uh, a great partner of Big Dive 2. Um, and particularly, Nicolo Bidotti will, will teach you about uh, general, I mean, the, the, the general Hadoop ecosystem and particularly the Spark framework and Spark streaming uh, as a nice tool to work with the real time data. Uh, it will be very, very intensive. Uh, we will try to keep uh, this workshop as uh, more practical as possible, uh, but of course, we will uh, also give you some uh, background in order to understand a bit uh, the context. Then um, you uh, you have already met probably uh, Accent. Uh, again, Accent is one of the key partner in, in Big Dive. And uh, Alessandro Molina, this is one of the founders of this uh, nice uh, company, uh, will teach you some basics about the NoSQL technologies, uh, and particularly about MongoDB. MongoDB is an incredible tool in order to, uh, to work with data ingestion. And uh, there are many usage, uh, many interesting usage of this, of this uh, NoSQL database uh, uh, with, um, with, uh, with data. So there is a strict uh, intersection between NoSQL technologies and data science, uh, and you will explore uh, to the uh, Alessandro's lesson during the second week. We also have a contribution by uh, Alex Comunion, and particularly by ThoughtWorks, that um, will explain a bit about uh, uh, how to move from uh, development uh, to production. Okay. Uh, during the last years, uh, I mean the the, the two uh, the two world of uh, data science and data engineering uh, um, grow in 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 grew in different in different tracks uh, in parallel. And right now is is very important also to understand uh, what happened to my Python notebook after the after the. Um, the testing basically. Uh, so how can move this uh, Python notebook from the, the development stage to the production, to the to the real environment uh, where you have a lot of data, a lot of um, real-time data and so on. So this lecture is aimed to understand a bit uh, this, uh, this paradigm and particularly we will use a bit of uh, Amazon Web Services and Docker. Stay. I mean, um, no problem if you don't have a lot of experience with Docker. We'll give you some uh, practical information, and I'm sure you will uh, enjoy this uh, this practical lesson. Uh, of course, in, in during the second week, uh, you will start uh, also the data science uh, part. Uh, the data science part and track uh, in uh, in Big Dive is in charge by the. Uh, ISI Foundation guys. Uh, here in this slide you can see Andrea Panisson and Alan Perotti. If you if you are um, a follower of our Instagram channel on, on Big Dive, you already seen uh, yes, you have already yeah, seen some uh, some interviews with with uh, with them. By the way, if you don't follow, if you don't like our Instagram account, please do it now. Uh, and uh, this is of course a key recommendation. Uh, but apart from from this, uh, well. Uh, um, this 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 part is one of the most important in big dive. So you will see a lot of machine learning, a lot of deep learning, and you will apply these two uh, key um, key technologies uh, to the computer vision areas using, uh, uh, of course, scikit learn, but also some neural networks with with Keras and TensorFlow. So again, this will be a very very important part for for big dive and particularly for the final project. Um, 
in 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 this uh, in this second week we will also have some great guest lectures uh, the first one is uh, about this great tool the name is WASD uh, or uh, that is basically a distributed web platform to allow people working on uh, uh, image data and particularly to big data um, on the cloud uh, it's a great project used by uh, by ESA of course um, and so uh, I think it's a it's a great opportunity to uh, to to meet the, the the founder of this project and to interact with them. Uh, also, we have um, a, a second guest lecture. The name is Starlab, and this is properly related to the to the to the final project. I mean, the Earth observation and, the, and yes, and target detection, particularly to the usage of uh, Earth, Earth observation data in order to create some insightful. Um, report and and result. Well, uh, it's time to, to 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 pass to the third week, and uh, again the 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 the, the timetable is is still is still uh, similar, and um, in in this in this uh, third week you will you will explore a lot. Again, you you add a kind of appetizer in the in the in the second week with the with the ISI guys, but you will spend more days about machine learning and deep learning in this in this third week, and uh, you will also have a great workshop with uh, um, a person that is, by the way, a an alumni of Big Dive, the name is Matteo Finazzi, is from uh, Northeastern University, so coming from the United States for us. We are very proud of uh, very proud of this. And he will talk about computational epidemiology and network science. So uh, probably you, you you have understood that uh, the 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 the, prog the program of Big Dive is a kind of uh, modules collection. So a lot of stuff, a lot of interesting uh, um, things uh, um, interconnected each other and our goal basically is uh, also to create a kind of continuum between the different different models. Uh, you will also have some um, advanced NLP uh, natural language processing with uh, Cristiano De Nobili that is uh, a researcher at Arman is a Samsung company. Uh, you already had some some uh, uh, insight in the NLP um, topic uh, with uh, with uh, with the Chelly. This is a company here in in Torino. In the second week, probably I missed this slide in this in this deck. And you will have a second a second lecture by by Cristiano in in this uh, in this third week. So again, you will complete uh, not only data science, not only data engineering, but also a uh, a uh, bit of a view of uh, natural language processing. And even in the week, of course, we have uh, our guest lecturers. Uh, the first one will be Antonio Beto by Nexa Center for Internet Society. It is a company or is a, let me say, research institution connected to the Polytechnic in Torino. Uh, uh, Antonio is a friend of Big Dive and will talk about uh, uh, algorithmic fairness. That is a great topic, uh, particularly because uh, uh, of the impact on the artificial intelligence then. And we will also have uh, an, another great lecture by uh, Marco Dinucci, that is uh, associate professor at uh, uh, University of Torino. Uh, he will present uh, the HPC for artificial intelligence, that is High Performance Computing Center for Artificial Intelligence. Uh, that is a great uh, project uh, founded by Polytechnic Torino and University of Torino in order to meet uh, um, and to share basically some artificial, some high performance computing resources uh, um, in order to um, to help the, the 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 growth of artificial intelligence. It is a nice project, particularly because uh, um, you can see here the, the intersection between the two main universities in Torino. So it it would be a nice uh, nice meeting. Um, then, of course, we have the fourth week, almost at the end, and the, fourth, the and the program of the fourth week is pretty pretty easy because basically it will be totally. Uh, committed with the final project. So uh, you will have uh, five days, basically, a very, very intensive working with the, the data provided by our data sponsor. 
and uh, the, the goal here is to, is, to, is to work with this data and to meet the challenge provided by our sponsors. Um, we will have a public presentation of the results you achieved during this uh, final week. And usually we, we open this uh, final presentation to, um, to a general public, uh, of course our sponsors, of course our stakeholders, but also some other companies and, and interesting people. Uh, it will be also a great opportunity for people looking for, for a job after Big Dive because I mean, people uh, and companies here are interested in hiring great guys like you. Um, well, uh, it's time to um, give you a bit of spoiler about the the, the final projects, uh, and let me let me pass the the, the 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 word to Stefania that will present you the the three main challenges that we will address during Big Dive. Yes. Hello, everyone. Again, thank you, Christian, for the wonderful review of uh, our three weeks, and uh, the last week will be dedicated to the, the final challenges. Uh, this year, the data sponsor will be Altec, but actually we met uh, on the final day of uh, last year edition, and we're happy to have it on board this year. Uh, then we'll have uh, uh, ESA, so uh, the European Space Agency, that will come on board uh, in partnership uh, with other contractors that uh, we'll see just in a in few moments. And INRIM is a meteorological institute that, um, as we see, among the other activity also related to quantum mechanics, they work with uh, atomic clocks and they work uh, uh, here in Turin with other laboratories around the world in order to have the perfect time for us. And uh, let's dive in uh, into our four space challenges. So the first uh, challenge uh, that we're going to present uh, uh, here is the Earth Observation and Agriculture by Altex Space. Uh, we're going to use uh, earth observation uh, around uh, this area, this local area, in aggregation with other data uh, related to a uh, regional entity here in Piedmont. And uh, we'll, be, we'll have uh, some interesting uh, insights, we hope, uh, in, the final, in the final project. Uh, the order about uh, Earth observation will be dedicated to urban areas and, and how we can extract uh, some knowledge from uh, urban areas. So we can select some cities uh, and see the, develop the development of the city really in relation to social and economical data. We're going to give you some freedom in order to gather inside this information, but uh, we also provide uh, some very, very great suggestions. So something that I want to mention is that uh, we decided these uh, challenges uh, with uh, the data partners, uh, but of course, uh, we are all happy to give you some freedom in order to get uh, the most of the insight uh, from uh, each of them. Uh, again, in partnership with ESA and uh, the Technical University of Denmark, uh, we're going to have this uh, very interesting uh, uh, observation uh, about uh, polar observation and uh, specifically Arctic region. And this will be very interesting. We will have uh, in uh, the third week uh, a lecture uh, in order to see more about uh, the SAR images and how to handle them. And uh, they will also offer you a nice story about uh, how uh, this kind of uh, classification once was uh, made manually and now machine learning is going also in the Arctic. Then we have uh, a very special uh, pure science, let's say, uh, challenge regarding uh, space, weather, and time. As I mentioned, uh, INRIM uh, is, uh, it is uh, some uh, atomic clocks uh, in Mars inside uh, the some Galileo satellites. Uh, and uh, we want to see some correlation, correlation between a uh, little difference in time's measurement and uh, the impact uh, of uh, space events, such as uh, a magnetic fields of a solar storm. And they will be very interesting. I noticed that uh, this year we have uh, other uh, people with different background, also from physics background, uh, and they will be very interesting. And uh, what I want to mention is that uh, we will have around uh, five people for each challenge, four or five people. And uh, of course, uh, um, we sort of selected the group uh, in the best way they can, but uh, if a person have a strong interest in just go for one, we'll take, uh, of course, in consideration. So uh, we 
can also talk about uh, if you have also any question about uh, anything that we said uh, before about uh, the weeks and uh, uh, and about the final challenge uh, one thing that i want to mention is that uh, yeah now we, we remain in the final final day um each of these um, challenges will be presented uh, from the data sponsors. So this is just to give you an insight, uh, a spoiler, a big spoiler uh, for the final week. Uh, but we will have more and more details about uh, all the challenge. So if you want to spend a word about uh, uh, yes, the final I would, deadline. I would also spend a word about the, the, the importance of this uh, final project because, uh, yes. again, our according to our experience in the previous edition of Big Dive, this is the the chance for the students to, to work practically on some data. Uh, of course, again, Big Dive is a hands-on course, so you will not, you won't see a lot of theory during the, 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 the fourth week. But uh, having the chance to work with the real data and with real challenges is an incredible opportunity in order to develop something also for your future. And many of our previous uh, students uh, uh, had the chance to their final project uh, uh, to find a job, of course, but also to uh, expand uh, their portfolio of uh, activities and of projects. So um, keep this uh, this great opportunity. This is my my personal suggestion. Also, one thing is also about the working in groups. Yeah, working in groups from uh, sometimes from different background, but also different point of view, different uh, point uh, to interpret the data and the value insights. That is something that is really above any online course i mean uh, you can learn a lot of things online but this uh, this year each year is <laughs> is the best year <laughs> and um, to get the insight from uh, really expert in the fields and uh, to work together also with uh, some mentors uh, one of the mentors are the main uh, the main teachers of the course is really priceless actually yeah and this is by the way the reason why uh, we decided to have a uh, uh, class experience and, and not just uh, um, an online course uh, or, or something similar. Many people ask it to us, okay, I want to attend just this model because um, this is my, my uh, field of work or, or, or other thing. No, we want to have a commitment uh, during the whole course because definitely we believe in this class and group experience. A full experience. Yeah. Yes. Um, well, uh, we have some comments in, in the chat. Uh, Stefano, sounds really interesting. Looking to meet you all in two weeks. Uh, thank you. Yes. Oh my uh, God, two weeks. Yes, only two <laughs> weeks. Uh, but apart from the two weeks, definitely uh, the, we have a more close deadline that is the, the end of the applications. Yeah, uh, the class, I have to say, is almost complete. And so we have uh, 17, 18 people uh, already committed. So we have a couple of seats available. If you have friends, share the news. Uh, if there are people uh, not still enrolled in the course, please, this is your time to fill the application and we'll complete the, the, the class in, in a couple of days. Uh, people already selected uh, are already uh, inviting in our Slack channel that we will use for the communication uh, from now basically to the beginning of the course. Uh, feel, um, I mean, um, be sure to, 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 to meet our, our deadline in terms of payment, uh, but most of all, be sure to, to watch the requirements uh, and, and the resources that we uh, will share in advance. And so uh, keep an eye on our Slack channel at least one time every day. Um, we have our quest of uh, becoming a speaker. Uh, you want you, you want to present or you want to, to do a, a a simple question for for us because if you want to do a question you can use the chat in in this way we can we can answer to you in a, in a, in a fast way um what else uh, of course uh, a couple of words about our our venue um okay, yes this is uh, this uh, this webinar is is also in the same class that we that you will use uh, during the course. That is not um, the one in the, that is not the, one in, in the is picture. The, this is a picture about our our topics office. But topics office is uh, 
uh, is merged with the, with big dive uh, room uh, if you don't mind i will show you the class here so you can see yeah. this is this will be your class for the it could four be very weeks. warm in the summer <laughs> could be very warm but we have air conditioning so yes. we are safe about this Use the power uh, the... you will see the, the the address here in slide yep. Uh, but for sure we'll send you all the information about the logistics, the first day, the timetable, and the, the, doors, the welcome. The yes, <laughs> don't, so don't be, don't be uh, afraid, we'll uh, share you the, in the, the most important information. Uh, what else? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, if you have any kind of questions uh, right now, you can use uh, the chat in order to, to, to share your, your, your question and we will share with the class or share with the other people. Um, don't be shy, of course. Uh, this is a very, very informal event, a uh, formal webinar. But most of all, if you have any question from here to the beginning of the, of the course, uh, do not hesitate to write us. For any reason, really, um, uh, we know that the people from uh, from abroad are trying to to um, yes, those are yes, those no problem. Um, we know that people from uh, from abroad are trying to to find the house. You can also you can also use the Slack channel and the community in the Slack channel to to share an house if you if you want to to save some money. Um, we can create a dedicated channel or you can use the general channel and uh, feel free to, to share your needs uh, uh, on the Slack because in this way uh, uh, a reply for one person could be also useful for, for the entire community. So uh, from my point of view, basically this is uh, all I want to say to you. Um, and um, let me say there is a question are you sharing this presentation with us of yes. course on slack we yes, also we have uh, also. registered this uh, this meeting so we can share you the slides and and the, and the presentation i mean the, the video uh, no problem about this uh, for sure the slides will be shared on the slack channel it's where you can uh, you can access them. Uh, also, be sure to to create your GitHub account because we will use it a lot for so sharing documents. Have almost all of them. I don't want to call names, but three are missing. Okay, so be sure <laughs> to know. to to send to Stefania uh, your your GitHub account in order to uh, invite you in the in the private repository that we will use for the course. Uh, this is a great resource because basically we collect uh, here all the material, all the teaching material, all the exercises, and so on. So it would be great to have uh, these uh, these resources also for the future. So um, I think it's. Uh, I'd like it's, to underline uh, also something. About, yes, please. Uh, uh, the challenging uh, the challenges as well because. Uh, Actually, also with uh, Aza and some others uh, that you saw, we met uh, just two weeks ago, basically, or one week ago, about uh, the Living Planet Symposium and uh, the Sustainable Development Goals that are aligned, uh, uh, very aligned with uh, our last uh, and uh, final challenges. Uh, so I want to address that uh, you're really older than um, study a lot so be prepared like relax i suggested to relax <laughs> a few days before the start of the course because then as it was mentioned before you sleep eat and learn basically uh, but the final week uh, will be dedicated to that so the goals itself will be a long-term goals for you as well and uh, you will be updated with these uh, any challenges that uh, you're going to choose will be very updated to the status uh, that uh, and the changes that uh, we're going to see in, in the in the in the society basically in the next future. So we have something. Uh, we have perhaps. Uh, it's a private message. Yeah, so. oh. <clears throat> okay. Um, okay. No okay. Uh, so thank you again for for attending this webinar. Um, again, if you have any other questions, mm, feel free to to write us in the next days. So, um we really lo are looking forward to meeting you guys uh, in the in the next two weeks so, and I'd like to thank uh, you all of them that are already uh applying and uh, yes, yeah, of course. here 
but we will have um, we'll have time to to thank you and to to, to okay. talk with uh, with you guys. La one, one last question is uh, is about the group making. Usually, um, we, sort of, we we yes, we are trying to, to balance. balance. We try our best to balance both the interest and uh, the number of people dedicated to each challenge, and also the different skills. So we'll take the burning decision, <laughs> yeah. but we take in consideration everything that we, we can. Uh, we will, uh, let me say, we will nudge the, the group making. Sure. We will try to, again, to, to, to mix the, and to, to meet the, the interest about the people and, to, and, and, and the skills, because uh, our, our first goal is, uh, of course, that uh, uh, at the end, uh, our, your final project will, will, will be great. So in, in, in order to do this, we really need to have uh, a kind of balanced groups uh, um, during, the, during the final week. So this, this will be an, an, an odd path for, for us, but yeah. usually, again, according to our experience, we, we, we were able and, we, and hope we will also be able in this edition to, to meet your, your interest. And any any of the challenges will be very helpful to apply anything that you learned before. So don't worry too much. You will end up well. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So <clears throat> thank you again. Um, let me say bye bye to all of you. Uh, we will close this. Uh, we'll close this uh, this presentation, and we will see very very soon. Ciao ciao. Ciao ciao ciao.